There's a scene in the movie Almost Famous where the band acquires a private plane and suddenly their fiercely beloved touring bus looks kind of sad off in the distance. Let's talk about the Bravado Mark II from Empire Ears. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos on the newest audiophile gear. Now, the original Bravado is a pretty awesome entry-level audiophile IEM, but man, does the Mark II version kind of seem like that shiny new plane in Almost Famous. At $599, the original Bravado has been one of Empire Ears' best sellers, and with good reason. It's chock full of proprietary technology whose depth of sound belies its entry-level status. At $7.99, the Mark II retains everything good about the original while getting a serious upgrade in frequency response, bass extension, and instrument separation. First, take a look at this beauty. You've got a gold-winged Empire Ears logo on a glittery black background. It's called Deep Field, and it's a snazzy look. As for the inside, the biggest change is the addition of two electrostatic drivers to the Mark II for the high and ultra-high frequencies. In fact, the Bravado Mark II gets a big upgrade in frequency response over the original, now standing at 5 Hz to 100 kHz. This exceeds the limits of what the human ear can hear, but we still experience things like instrument separation, harmonics, and energy outside of that range. What you hear is music reproduction with the finest detail and enhanced body. Now, I would classify the Bravado Mark II as having a warmish sound signature that hits a little more neutral than its predecessor. The bass hits harder, the treble has more shine, and the mid-range, to me, sounds a little less recessed than the original. Now, the Bravado Mark II is not as bassy or bombastic as, say, Empire's Legend X or Valkyrie, but it's got some boldness to it, and it can show you a good time. Shout out to Empire's proprietary new Weapon 9 Plus subwoofer that really packs a punch. What struck me right away with the Bravado Mark II was the amount of instrument separation. The sound is very crisp with nice texture on strings and great definition and distinction between guitars, percussion, piano, vocals, etc. I found myself honing in on individual sounds, but not to the point of being in critical listening mode. Now, I chose to pair the Bravado Mark II with a Black Dragon IEM version 2 cable, which has silver-plated copper conductors. So you get an immersive, musical sound from the copper and a boost in clarity and detail from the silver. It's a really natural-sounding cable that pairs well with fun-sounding IEMs. Of course, there are no hard and fast rules when it comes to cable pairings. Head on over to moon-audio.com to learn more. In a nutshell, I think Empire Ears has taken what was already a fabulous all-purpose IEM and brought it to the next level. Empire's declaration that Bravado works with multiple genres is no joke. I enjoyed it with an array of rock, classical, folk, and jazz. It brought the energy when I wanted it, but it performed equally well with more mellow music. At $7.99 for the Universal or $9.99 for a custom pair, you'll pay $200 more for the Mark II over the original. I think this is a modest price hike for a major upgrade. If you want to learn more about the Bravado Mark II, be sure to check out our written review, which we'll link to. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. And if you're looking for more audiophile reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching.